we're gonna have fun at Gaku? Apple. <laughs> Hola! Ciao! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below and activate the bell so you don't miss any videos. Today I am here with a very beautiful special guest. She looks like my sister, but she is my mom. Hi, Hi. mom. <laughs> this is Helen. She is here with her grandmother's recipe for Finnish pancakes, which is called panakaku in Finnish, I hope. If you're Finnish and watching this and I said it wrong, please correct me. But this is a recipe that's tried and true and we've had in our family for a long time and it's very typical Finnish. And I'm half Scandinavian or half Finnish and so I thought it would be fun to share this recipe with you and I'm sure that you have all of the ingredients in your kitchen so you can try it as well. And I'm hoping to teach you some baking terms, some food terms, so you can have new vocabulary to add to your English language learning journey. So mom, let's get started with this recipe. What okay. do we do first? First, you take some butter and you unwrap it, quarter stick, in each nine by 13 pan. Three, two, one. Here we go! And we will put them in the oven to melt. Okay, we already put the oven on. We heated it to 350 degrees. Okay. Now we will use six eggs. Six eggs, okay. These are farm fresh eggs, you guys. So we're gonna crack the eggs. Mom will do a couple too. My mom is such a good cook, such a good baker. We never went hungry growing up. We always had the best food. And being back here in Michigan on vacation, I thought I have to do a vlog with my mom in the kitchen. We'll just mix this really quickly okay. before we add the sugar. Mm -hmm. So we'll add three quarter cup. And mm -hmm. here in America, we use cups, half cups. I know you guys might use grams or something in your country, um, but we use these measuring cups. So three quarter cup. Yes. Okay. Let me mix, sure. it. mix it again. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can use a blender or you can just do it by hand as well. Now we'll add four cups of milk. Four cups of milk. So this is a two cup measure here. And seems like a lot of milk, right? But we're doing two. Nine oh yeah, pans. that's true. So this would actually serve a lot of people. So if you guys want, you can come eat with us. Okay. Okay. No, flour. Flour. Two and a half cups. Are we doubling it? No. Nope. Two and a half cups. Two and a half cups of flour, and I think that's the last ingredient, right? Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, super easy. Let's start mixing it. Okay. Mom said it's too lumpy, so we're gonna just keep on mixing. Good, that's it. Okay, and so this would be the batter to the finished pancakes, to the panakaku, and then we're gonna just dump this out, divide it between the two pans, and the butter should be all melted, and then you pour it in and you bake it in the oven for, what should we start it at? I'll do 40, 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, and we wanna just check it and make sure 
You guys will see what happens when it cooks in the oven. It usually rises, doesn't it? It kind of bubbles up, sort of like, yeah, puffs up like German pancakes. And so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. That butter is slowly melting, so I'm just gonna awesome. hang out with my mom. Maybe. So the butter's all melted, and we're just gonna go ahead and divide this batter in between the two pans. Is that good? That's good. Okay. And then we'll just put it back in the oven and start baking it for about 40 minutes or so. And that is the process. Look, I hope it's all done in the center. Oh, is it still a little gooey? We got a little more time on that? Yeah. What are you gonna eat, sweetie? Panikaku. Yeah, you like panikaku? It's pretty good, huh? That's a tiny little bit. Hello. More syrup. Kids are going crazy for it. Oh, nice. Don't burn yourself. to do pure maple syrup, so good. And then we Mommy, also sometimes Mommy. do fresh berries. And then, I don't know, I grew up eating this with cheese on the side too. And cheese and syrup is actually tasty. Some fresh berries. It's weird eating on camera, you guys. <laughs> but it is delicious. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is so good. So it ended up taking us about 50 minutes in the oven, but be sure to check it. Your oven could be different, but you want it to not be doughy, to not be liquidy. Um, you want it to be more solid, and then be sure to enjoy it with syrup, fresh berries, <laughs> your children, <laughs> your babies. My kids love it. You <laughs> This can really be a dessert. We usually eat it for dinner. My son keeps blowing raspberries under the table, but I know you guys love him. He's funny. So anyways, if you make this, be sure to comment below how it went for you. I hope you guys enjoyed baking with me and my mom. Come back in. Mommy. We'll be sure to attach the recipe down below. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Say bye, guys. Say bye. ciao. Bye. 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 You want a bite? No.
What <laughs> are you so going big. to eat? What is mommy? I'm a I gotta do it again. <laughs> it just feels weird.